So today, we're gonna get to know each other a little bit. Anyways, so, <clears throat> my page is called Nurse Darling. Um, Darling is actually my first name. I'm named after my aunt who <clears throat> passed away in a car accident when my mom was 17. Um, so, my first name is actually Darling. That's not just something I made up. Um, and my middle name is Renee. So, it's Darling Renee. And a fun fact is that I actually go by Renee. I don't go by Darling. Actually, I've always used Darling as my, like, my professional alter ego, whatever. All of my jobs, I've always gone by Darling at my jobs. <clears throat> and in nursing, I'm going to continue that and be, con you know, called, referred to as Darling also. Um, but as far as, like, friends and family and, you know, uh, maybe, like, coworkers that I'm close with, I will be referred to as Renee. So a lot of the time, if it sounds um, awkward when I call myself darling or, you know, welcome back to nurse, the paid nurse star, I don't know. It's it's weird. Anyways, <laughs> where was I at? Um, all right, so I my name is darling Renee, but I go by Renee. Um, I always have since I was a kid. That's what my mom calls me, my grandma, everybody in my family calls me Renee. I've never been called darling. Um, so that's a little fun fact. I'm 24 years old. I just turned 24 on December 5th. Um, I live on Big Pine Key. That is in the Florida Keys. I um, am actually from Key West. I was born and raised down here. Uh, I moved to Tampa. I was in Tampa for like four years with my husband. <laughs> Um, I really enjoy Tampa. At some point, we do plan on making it back to Tampa. Um, but for now, we are in the Florida Keys. And I'm in school, and my husband is actually becoming a contractor. So we, our residence in the Keys may end up being longer than expected. Um, okay, so what else? My husband's 32. His name's Michael. Um, he's from Tampa. We actually met down here in the Keys. Um, it's just a random feller walking down the road. Anyways, we actually met down here. Um, lived down here for almost a year, then moved to Tampa. We're there for like four years, and then we've been down here for uh, like four years. We've been together for, you know, eight, around eight years. <coughs> um, anyways, uh, I'm half Cuban, and then a quarter German and a quarter Indian. My husband is Cuban. Neither one of us speak Spanish, another fun fact. Um, his father was in and out of prison when he was growing up, so he never learned how to speak Spanish. And my father just wasn't in the picture. Um, so we're both Cuban, but do not speak Spanish, so that's interesting. Um, we have a pretty decent age gap between us, but I mean, it works for us. I think that if I was with anybody younger than he is, it just wouldn't work. I just wouldn't be able to do it. Um, so don't judge. Everybody's different and what works for one doesn't work for another. So, um, what else? I'm currently in my third year at my college. Um, it took me Oh my, it took me almost two years to finish up all my prerequisites and get into the program. Um, so that's another video. I'm going to make a video of my whole journey to the nursing program. But anyways, let's see. What else can I tell you guys about me? Um, I hate roller coasters. Such a weird thing, but I hate roller coasters. I don't ride them. I don't go to entertainment parks or amusement parks because I don't ride roller coasters but I love water slides I love to go to a water park I'm all about it but I hate whoop, sorry if the camera's moving I'm driving um <clears throat> but I I hate I hate roller coasters but I love um what you know I think it was my husband behind me 
<laughs> he's gonna be like what is this bitch doing she's so sketchy but really I'm just riding around in my car making a YouTube video because I feel like I talk well whenever I'm driving we actually moved to the Keys in the beginning of 2016 because my grandfather died on Christmas in 2015. And um, my grandma needed some help financially and stuff like that. So me and my husband picked up and moved. <laughs> So my grandma needed help because my grandpa was no longer around. So me and my husband picked up and we moved down here. Um, <clears throat> and when we first moved here, we lived in an apartment underneath my mom's house. Um, uh, then we had a hurricane. It destroyed our apartment. We stayed at a friend's house for a while. Rebuilt the apartment underneath my mom's house. Rebuilt my grandma's house. Um, lived with my grandma for a little while. That didn't really work out for her or us. It was just, you know, we, there's the house only has one bathroom and stuff like that, so it just didn't really work out. Um, so she now lives in my old apartment at my mom's house. Um, and we live at her house, and we pay all the bills, and, and she doesn't have to pay any bills, and she lives a quiet, peaceful life in her little apartment, and she gets to keep her social security and doesn't have to worry about bills and stuff like that. So it ended up working out really well for all of us. I just kind of assumed her position in life and she assumed mine and you know, it's been really stressful being the head of my house, or my head of my house, head of my family. You know, my mom is a really bad alcoholic and um, so her level of function is not, not ideal. Um, so, it's pretty much my job to make sure everything's going the way that it's going and you know the wheels keep rolling and the family's okay uh that's my job i'm pretty much the mom of my family at this point um and that's cool that's just where we are uh my husband has a huge family he has a little he has a little brother his name's jeremy um he's like 27 or 26 something like that he has two kids um he has another little brother named anthony he's about to be 15. Um, he has an older sister. Her name's Lorinda. She has a son. Um, he has a pretty large family. They're all in Tampa. Um, we miss them like crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, not, there's not much to give off about myself. Um, I didn't graduate high school. I actually stopped going to school when I was in eighth grade. I actually dropped out and quit going and got a job and started working, helping my mom pay bills and stuff like that. Um, I didn't get back in school to get my GED until I was 20. Um, I was actually already married when I went back to school. Uh, I was working as a waitress in a breakfast restaurant, a little cafe. And it was fucking miserable. I mean, it was just horrible. Like, the, the customers were all older, cranky people. And everybody was always bitchy about their eggs and the way they were cooked. Which I can't control. I'm just a waitress. I just serve the food. Um, it was just pretty, it was pretty miserable. It was a pretty miserable time in my life. And, I don't know, something just hit me. And I was like, you know, you, you have to get back in school. You have to do something different. This, is, this isn't sustainable. You can't stay like this. So, that day I called, um the adult education center and the lady was like well if you want to start for this semester ooh, the road's pretty rough right here sorry if it's getting shaky um I was like you know she was saying if you want to start this semester today's the last day to test for you know your placement testing so you're gonna have to leave work and come here and I'm thinking Jesus Christ so I have to I'm covered in syrup fucking yolk coffee I mean I'm fucking disgusting because I work at a breakfast breakfast is is messy it's a messy you know meal time and uh so I had to go in my work clothes all fucking sticky and gross from work and I had to drive my ass to the school and sit for this placement test and surprisingly when I took the placement test I tested out of social studies, science, and reading, but my math level was really, really, really low, which was expected because I dropped out of school really, really young, and I wasn't very good at math and didn't really care to learn it when I was in school. Um, 
So my math was a sixth grade level when I tested. And I enrolled in the program, their adult education program, and I went five days a week for six months. And it was hard. It was hard and it was a lot to learn, but I did it. And I got my GED in six months. And after I got my GED, I applied to the school. It was a community college at the time. They just got um, turned into a four-year state college. So it's a college now. Um, but I got right in and I started that summer. So I did the whole first spring semester at the adult education and then started summer um, at the college. And that's where my journey started. And you know, it's crazy to look back and realize that, you know, just a few years ago, I didn't even have a, you know, I didn't even have a high school diploma. I was, you know, I was far from where I am right now and just a little bit of you know perseverance dedication and you know just keep just keep plugging away at it and it's, it's really made a big difference um, you know as far as my intellect and my um, confidence and just just really everything I just feel you know much better about myself so yeah, uh, my husband graduated high school, prom king, fucking captain of the baseball team, the whole fuck went to college, whole nine yards. My husband had like the ideal childhood. Me personally, I didn't. I grew up very poor in a trailer park. My family was very involved in drugs. Um, so my life was far from the ideal childhood. You know what I mean? So we are very different in those aspects of uh, I wouldn't say he was privileged, but he came from a good family that is a level of privilege. Um, whereas in my family is pretty fucking shoddy. I mean, I don't really know how to say it any other way. I mean, we're pretty, we're, my family's pretty much a fucking mess. I'm very thankful that I met my husband's family because, you know, I don't think I would have a sense of family or even know what that meant if it wasn't for my husband and his family. So I'm very grateful and will forever be grateful, um, for that. And I'm being a nurse practitioner one day. Um, I love making videos and pictures and editing. I love designing homes. I love making stuff. Um, my husband does, you know, construction. He rehabs houses and I love it when we get, you know, creative control and we can really just make a project something amazing. Oh, excuse me. I just drink my coffee and get me a little bit indigestion. <sighs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I mean, there's just, there's so much about, you know, me that I want everybody to know, which is kind of, I'm kind of crazy and I'm kind of loud and I cuss and, you know, all of that stuff, but... If I'm for you, I'm for you, and if I'm not, I'm not. You know what I mean? Like, that's just what it is. I gotta be me, and, you know, whoever likes me, they'll, they'll, they'll like me for who I am, and that's, that's cool. That's okay. Um, but, so right now, I think that, you know, this has been a pretty long video, and so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. Uh, this has been my car ride, get to know me. Um, um, we're up to almost a hundred subscribers. I mean that is just like it's insanity. I really can't believe it I never thought anybody would show any interest in me or what I'm talking about I'm so thankful that my content and what I'm doing it can help or inspire or teach or anything that means so much to me um I hope one day to have a large enough platform to where I can uplift and inspire you know young women young men who come from places that you know stuff like this doesn't seem achievable but it is you know like don't let your past or where you come from determine who you are who you're gonna be what your life's gonna be so yeah I think we're gonna wrap it up here I really enjoyed this this was actually a lot of fun um, yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It was a little bit different, but we're going to try and shake things up around here and keep it interesting. So until then...